Man, I know a lot of what you do, you come up here and say the running game all, always. You know, how important is it and what do you have to do to, to stop a Derrick Henry kind of a similar back that you open the SEC conference game season with? It, um, it, it's quite, a, it's, it's our, certainly our biggest task um, since the LSU game in terms of a, a great player running back. Um, because nobody's really quite had the answer in terms of getting him stopped yet. And, and part of it is just because they're, they're, you know, they're just so persistent. And, and pounding him, and then that's one of the challenges, and that's one of the things that that, that I have a lot of respect for their offense is that they're just going to they're just going to keep asking the same question, and um, and you know, and, and see if you're willing to be where you're supposed to be with the right frame of mind for for 60 minutes, and um, and if you can hang on for 15 or, or 25 or 35, it, it, sooner or later they just keep pounding at you, and then it cracks, and then the big plays occur. So it um, it is a challenge of um, I would say mental discipline and mental toughness as much as it's physical toughness. How unique is their game plan, or can you take stuff away from other games you've played this season and trying to prepare for him? Uh, you know, I mean, there's a little bit of, there, there's always a little bit of same as, you know, but uh, but they, they do some things that are unique, um, and certainly, you know, the people, the personnel makes it unique as well. So every, every week has its own little challenge, um, but I think, you know, I think at the same time, I think our guys have confidence in, in what we've been able to accomplish, and, and, uh, and we're, we're looking forward to, to playing them. Henry seems like he's getting almost stronger as the season progresses. Why? Why is he so good? Well, I just I just think they're improving as a football team, which um, which all good teams you know aspire to do as the year goes on. I think they've uh, they've come to terms with their identity on offense. You know, you know even early in the year, just getting the quarterback situation uh, straightened out and just finding out who they are. Some of their young wideouts right. have developed and made plays, which have opened things up for the running game. So they're just getting better. You know, but but we think we're getting better too. So um, I, I would agree with you that he's that he certainly uh, has. His production has gone up as years going on, but I think uh, I think there's a lot of reasons for that. Kind of touching on that about the young receivers, how much is the added production of Ridley kind of help open things up for for Henry as well? It, it has. Well, they've they've they found they found the playmaker in Ridley. You know, a guy that that um, that they can get the ball to in, in a bunch of different ways, and they do a good job like they did last year with Cooper of moving him different parts of the field, so he's hard guy to get a beat on in terms of where he is. Um, you know, move him around, motion him, have run routes where he crosses the field, things like that, so we can run away from coverage. Um, and you know, and his 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 playmaking ability and his maturity for for a young guy is is is, is pretty uh, unusual. No touchdowns, no touchdowns in the fourth quarter. Uh, just how much of a point of emphasis has that been for y'all? Well, I think as the year has gone on, you know, and and it, and you know, after you, you kind of after a while, you are who you are, and um, I think that is something now that our guys take a lot of pride in. Um, you know, it's something we, we brought up in the locker room at halftime in Missouri when it was a one-point game. So, you know, we know if we get to the fourth quarter, we feel really good about our um, our chances in that in that time frame because we, we know that we can close. So that um, I think I think you know our, our play in the fourth quarter is similar to our play in the red zone. I think that's just that's kind of comes stems from our program. It stems from our guys being taught um, every day of the year on how to finish. You know, so I think we I think we're good at finishing drives, a little bit our numbers offensively, defensively in the red zone, and obviously I think we're good at finishing games. So, so you know, and especially with an offense with a guy like Dak, you know, you're never out of a game. You know, you always have a chance, and but it also, you know, we know that we've got the lead going in the fourth quarter. We feel good about our chances. Yeah.